Hello and welcome to the Prop Guide Show. My name is Srinivas Raut. Uh, Bihar elections has been the topic of discussion in this season. And how is it going to impact the real estate sector in that state? To know more about that, we have Mr. Ankur Dhawan, the Chief Business Officer, Resale in Prop Tiger. Mr. Dhawan, the Bihar Assembly elections are over. So how do you think this Assembly elections results is going to impact the Indian economy? and the real estate sector in that state. See, outcome of Bihar election will influence how the winter, upcoming winter session progresses. So there are a lot of important bills which are stuck right now, which were, we were, which the government was trying to push in the last session as well, such as GST bill, land acquisition bill, real estate regulatory authority bill. So these bills can only pass when the government has sufficient uh, resources in the Rajya Sabha to get it passed. So yeah, we expect that based on the outcome of the election, uh, we will see how the progress of the upcoming intersection happens. But anyway, we, we, we believe that in long run, nothing is going to stop uh, progress of Indian economy. If you look at the way the government has progressed on multiple uh, key areas such as infrastructure development, ease of business, uh, uh, business doing business ranking where we have progressed very well, uh, as well as what we see in terms of the the new policies which they are bringing to grow the uh, the power sector, uh, we see that economy will grow in long run. Uh, so yes, obviously we, we we look forward to having a positive development even in the winter session. But that's all. That's what about uh, the Bihar elections. Bihar has always been a big state in terms of population. So the prospects are huge for any developer. So how do you think the prospects of these developers is going to be impacted after the assembly election results, especially all the parties? are pitching for development? So very valid question. Uh, you, you are very right that Bihar is one of the largest uh, state uh, in India. Uh, but still we have not heard about the, any big city in the Bihar which is doing very well in terms of the real estate development. Nor we hear any national developer going to Bihar and doing the, their projects. I think the key reason has been that uh, despite being the largest popular state, the, the economy has not done well in Bihar. We have not seen too many developments. None of the IT infrastructure, IT industry or the manufacturing industry is going to Bihar for the development, for the employment creation. We see actually a lot of residents of Bihar moving to Delhi and CR and Mumbai for the job, for the employment. So that is the reason why we have not seen too much of real estate development in Bihar. But yes, with the new government, the expectation is that whoever comes uh, will look forward to the growth of the Bihar and will be able to attract these industries, whether it's IT or manufacturing or services, which will help the employment creation and hence the development of the real estate in Bihar. And what are the expectations of the developers from the Bihar government, that is the upcoming government? So it's very difficult to predict the outcome of the election. So it's, it will be wrong on my part to predict that the real estate market will start booming. We look forward to positive outcome and depends upon which government comes and how the policies they implement. Uh, whether they are able to attract the investment like uh, as we discussed IT, IT sector or the manufacturing and the service sector which will create employment and then only the real estate market will grow. So we look forward to uh, how it progresses uh, and then only we will be able to say. Thanks Mr. Dhawan for giving your valuable time to our show. We will continue to track the real estate market in Bihar after the polls. Welcome. Thanks for watching our show. Stay connected.